Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the third or fourth video in the little set of videos I'm doing that shows you how to prepare a field package in AutoCAD. And we're actually only preparing part of the field package. We're working on the Control Survey Plan Exhibit and the Topo Survey Plan Exhibit. So in the last video, you guys saw me kind of geo-reference this landscape plan here for the what they call the East Bay Mud Waterwise Garden down here in the southwest corner of the site. And uh, we added a new layout where you can see that plan, part of that plan. And what we want to do now is just go in in model space and we're going to add some leaders here. We're going to annotate uh, what we want to have surveyed on the plan. So let's go ahead and we're going to unfreeze our exhibit text layer. Now you can see that I've got uh, I've got these other points overlaying here. So you we really only have two choices here. We can just create a new drawing for this new sheet, or uh, we can separate our layers, our text on different layers, and then use the viewport controls to control which one goes where. And uh, generally, as a general rule, and I'm in this situation for something simple like this, I will just create a second drawing. So I'm going to say save as, and uh, this is actually the topo survey plan. I'm going to call this 02. I'll show you why in a minute. So what I actually want to do now is go into my file folder. And remember where I put this. Okay, so because this is actually that first sheet as the control plan, I'm going to just rename this to control and then this other one can be called the topo survey plan because that's all it's going to have in it. Well, it's not going to like that because I'm in the drawing, so we'll just cancel that for now. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and delete this first tab because we're not going to need it. All right, so now that we've done that, we can get rid of all this other text because it's the wrong size and it's not appropriate to the topo survey plan. Okay. I'm actually going to get rid of everything but that. So now we want to save this multi-liter, but we want to change the scale. Well, now we're at a 20 scale. Okay, so we're going to shrink that down. And now we can just let the crew know what we want them to do. So we're going to say, uh, right here, we're going to say, uh, survey, top face of curb, and sidewalk along garden border. All right. And I'm going to just copy that in a couple places. And then we're going to copy it again. And I'm going to come over here and tell them survey building corners along south face of building. Okay, and we also want. couple more here. Actually, I'm going to do this one first. We're going to say survey all corners and edges of this. Just say edges of garden path slash sidewalk. We want, to, we want them to tie out that sidewalk. And I'm going to drag this over here, and this thing will flip around. And we got to fix that silly underlying thing that comes up. Okay, so that's basically what we want. Tie out the curb, locate the sidewalk in the building. Um, now, just because I think it might be controlling 
on the uh, the grading of the design. I'm going to tell these guys uh, to, even though we weren't asked, I'm going to tell them survey edge and flow line of garden creek bed. Okay, now let's go see what this looks like in our plan. All right, so not a lot of that fitting in at 1 to 20. So I probably need to way scrunch this up. So let's see if we can do that. I'm not sure why this one's not uh, disappearing. Let's bring it to the front. And we'll flip this around. Move this up. Oop. So let's see if we're fitting any better here. It's not bad. And we can move this label over a little bit. The one for the path. All right, that looks pretty good. So we have the purpose and the access on the other page, so I can delete those. I'm just going to update our notes here. And uh, we're going to turn on our text align layer so we can get our text line up, line, get, get our text lined up correctly. So let's look at that. Nope, we want text align. Okay, so I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is move up the control methods. Okay, and what I'm gonna say here is set at least. Whoop! I want the guys to set at least one azimuth pair with checkpoint for total station survey using primary control basis then we're going to say level through control points for the total station survey okay so that's for the control and then we're going to say we're going to copy this and go down here and we're going to say this is for topo methods and we're going to say perform topo of major site features within the East Bay Mud Waterwise Garden as shown on this exhibit. I'm going to say uh, use toll station methods because I don't want them doing it with GPS and then I'm gonna just leave them a note say full topo isn't needed only survey the items shown because those guys will go go crazy and they'll survey everything <clears throat> And then over here for the punch list, we're going to say uh, set new control points for toll station survey of garden. I'll just say toll station survey. Uh, we'll say run level loop. They'll know that's for the new control. 
I'm going to say survey garden path, sidewalk. Something didn't work there. I got my spacing wrong. Okay, so we also want them to uh, survey creek bed. And survey building corners. And survey curb walk on street. Okay. So punch list is done. We can uh, freeze this text alignment layer now. Sheet 2 2 looks good. We changed that. We got to fix the scale. It's 1 to 20 now, not 1 to 200. We're going to save our drawing. We'll run a plot. Do a quick preview. I'm not sure how that's going to look. We're going to try it. We might have to unfade that image there. I'm going to rename this to call, and I'm going to call it Topo Plan. And let's see how this looks. Yeah, that image is pretty faded, so let's fix that. So we'll just come back here to Model Space. And we're going to grab this, and we're going to say... I shouldn't have put the fade on. Yeah, that looks better. So we'll go ahead and plot that. Okay, that looks better. So that's done. So the last thing I'll do is uh, I'll set up these sketch sheets. Just try and make it easy for the guys to uh, set up sketches. So uh, what I'll do, for example, for this topo is I'll just come in here at 1 to 20 and uh, position that in the right spot. And then uh, I'll freeze this exhibit text. So now the guys just have something they can write on there. And uh, I will fade that a little bit now for the, uh, let's save it real quick. And then we'll fade this just a little bit for the sketch. And um, I'm actually going to do this two of two because I'll do another sketch sheet for the guys on the other side there or in that other drawing. Oop. So I'm just going to double click on this and say sheet 2 of 2. And you'll notice this info is wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll fix this real quick. So this is the garden at Heather Farms. And it's in Walnut Creek. And this is August 14th, 2018. Doesn't have a job number. I'll get rid of that. And uh, now we can just uh, save this and plot it. Oh, except I forgot. Uh, we need to fix this. This is uh, 1 to 20. And uh, this will just give the guys a sheet they can sketch on and add whatever 
if they want some notes, they can add some notes over there. So we'll go ahead and plot that. And uh, I'm going to call this field sketch one. So they can print this out, print this out now, and they can use that as a sketch. And I'll go back in and we'll do a sketch sheet just like this for that first drawing with the control plan. And uh, then we'll put together the notes for the guys, and that should be about it. So I went a little long on this one, about 15 minutes. Apologize for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the future videos.